What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again, here with my husband. First and foremost, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. <sighs> it is not your turn to speak. They're not. Everybody's coughing. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't ruin your holiday spirit because Thanksgiving is coming up. Right around the corner. My wife wanted to celebrate it with violent animal videos. Yeah, so I was just sitting here like, okay, let's watch some Casual Geographic. Like, we haven't watched Casual Geographic in a while. Listen to the titles of his most recent three videos. I'm ready. How a camel's bad habit can put you in a coffin. How to not get unsubscribed from life by animals. <laughs> I like that. And when animals become serial killers. <laughs> That's great. I feel like his relationship with the animal kingdom is hanging on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> unsubscribe from life. That's uh, good. This video is how to not get unsubscribed from life by animals because the other yeah. one had a disclaimer in front of it about how graphic the descriptions were. Wait, I want that one. And I didn't feel like I could <laughs> handle that. <laughs> this is going to be a two-part video. So if you guys are interested in watching part two, make sure you head over to Chavez's channel to watch it. I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, oh, that's a person. Oh, oh, oh. So if you're a long time subscriber, there's a couple of videos that might have brought you here. One of them might be the very first video I ever made. It's still up today, but considering it was a TikTok compilation I slapped together and it was back when I used Apple headphones as a mic, the quality is trash. In fact, <laughs> watching that video nearly made me cringe myself into a hernia. And in all honesty, if the views didn't go crazy, I definitely would have vaulted it like nature did the dinosaurs. I feel that. Or I the feel Bundy that, Hornets. Whatever happened to them? Well, with the recent upgrade in the production quality of my channel, I figured why not remake the video that probably got you here in the first place. It is looking mighty crisp. It, it's looking it's it's looking a lot better. Don't you think? Okay, can I give an honest opinion or you want the YouTube opinion? What? The glare on the bottom right from the green screen, I feel that. Oh and second of all, God. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss the earbud quality, okay, but I am appreciating okay, okay. the upgrade. Okay, I, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. But we have to let the people that we love grow. I know, it's so hard. <laughs> I wanted to stay the same. Go ahead and grow. Flourish, please. Flourish. In abundance. Yeah, in, in abundance. abundance. So here's how to survive a moose attack. You don't actually have a choice in the matter. You see, the key word here is attack. The road to getting a moose aggravated often comes with a toll price of your life. And honestly, you're probably safer in front of a bear than a 10 foot tank with antlers. With predators, you can convince them that you're not worth the effort. Right. But there is no negotiating with something that thinks you're actively trying to turn it into calories. So the best way to survive a moose attack is to not even let it get to that point. Okay. So here are some signs that a moose is considering turning you from one of a kind to another in a pine. If okay. a moose stops eating or drinking and suddenly stares at you. You oh. got the moose's attention and it's in your life's interest to give it back. Mm -hmm. If a moose shows you the whites of his eyes, soon you'll be seeing the sight of God's skies. And if the ears are pinned nice. back, his mind's on attack. And this goes for pretty much all animals. Once True. the ears go flat, then the next few seconds are going to be very crucial to continuing your way of life. Right. And I don't entirely know why, but if a moose urinates while looking at you, it's a sign of ill intent. I'm guessing it's like a territorial thing, it but is. wherever you came from is where you need to be heading. Yep. And if a moose lowers his head and starts approaching you, that is likely the last warning that doesn't come with a hospital bill. Of course, none of that really matters because a four-legged armor oh, truck no. with the ability oh, no. to make conscious choices could just choose to charge you unprovoked. Because there is no playbook in nature that the Musaya is going to follow. At Why did nobody leave? They're all standing and watching in amazement. Oh my lord. He's so unconcerned. He's a little concerned. He's not concerned at all. A guy in the red. Why are you guys run for your life? He took out a baby. He didn't even go to the biggest threat. He didn't even go to the biggest threat. He took out the baby. When my wife talks about punting babies, that's exactly <laughs> what she's talking about. That's exactly uh, what you should imagine. And you should also run for your oh life. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Oh God. At which point your options are limited, yeah. but you're going to want to get into a car, a shed, or a building, or at the very least put he something between you and go. the moose, like a tree or even a mailbox <laughs> or something. And if violence is inevitable, you're going to want to curl into a ball, protect your vital organs, and forgive those who may have wronged you in the past so the hate in your heart doesn't Genius. weigh you down as you go to the clouds. Genius. But most importantly, oh, don't get up right there. after the moose stops trampling you, because that could motivate the moose to star in the sea for the assault. Basically yeah. the whole make yourself look oh bigger God. thing. Yeah, yeah, do the exact opposite with a moose. Don't stand your ground because at the moment it's not yours. You're right. dealing with the Lord of the North and nothing short of a 
magazine with no words or freed willy is stopping him unless you happen to be a lord too in which case the moves might just respect you enough to not turn you into a wuss okay. you see the title of lord used to be reserved for the elites of society like the princes the lieges the feudal oh superiors or 1300 mm -hmm. pound population control but thanks to the scottish <laughs> custom of referring to landowners as it. lords yeah. established titles lets you earn that title by allowing you to buy a one square foot plot of land in eddleston scotland you don't actually become a lord you're, you're not royalty it's just words on a piece of paper but so uh -huh. is a degree and i'll tell you right now one costs way more than the other one is also a lot prettier than the other because this is what the official certificate looks like That's i'm lord cool. casual and no one can do anything about it you can even put lord on credit cards plane tickets even dating sites who knows maybe you'll match with a moose there's certainly worse you can match with on there each certificate wow. has a number to show Jesus. you the exact location of the plot and with each plot a tree gets planted to help fight deforestation with the help of global charities one tree planted and trees for the future That's first dope. couple of people to buy using the link will also be given a plot of land right next to mine so we'd pretty much be neighbors so to earn your title of lord go to establishedtitles.com slash casual go10 and use the code casual go10 for an extra 10 percent off especially since they're currently running a massive black friday sale right now you can expect more than 10% off when a moose is involved, especially when it's a mother with a calf or a male in rut. And for those of you that already know what rutting is, I'm 90% sure I know how you know, and I'm 90% disappointed in you. However, the moose I'm usually lost. isn't trying to hurt Sorry. you, so the less of a threat you are, the less danger you're in. Okay. Now, uh -huh. how would you feel about being Lord Chavez and Lady Skitten? I, I want a plot adjacent to his, not next to, and I want to plant a mean tree with a mean face, glaring at his tree for all the time. Just one with like a hmm face, and it kind of just like hmms at him forever. That's what I want. Trees don't have faces. Give me that, I'll buy it, Lord Chavez decrees. Can't really say that for these guys though. Here's uh, how to survive a chimp attack. Yeah, no. funny thing about that, either you don't or you wish you didn't. <laughs> look, yeah. if you already follow me, then you already know what chimps are and what they're yeah. capable of. People think they're cute because they look like humans when they should be scared because they act like them too. I actually have a list on how to survive a chimp attack, but if you're in a position where you can get touched up by one, then you've already ignored steps one through five. Yeah. Step six is to lease a coffin. But let's say you <laughs> effed around and now you're trying not to find out. Don't smile or show teeth since this can be interpreted as a sign of aggression. Okay. It's their version of flashing your piece. Eye contact with a chimp is a good way to make contact with your ancestor, since this can be directly seen as a challenge. However, if a chimp is already coming at you with violence, then it might be time to pick a color for your casket. Uh -huh. There is one weakness chimps have that might just save you. Because chimpanzees are built like Michelangelo Jesus statues, Christ. their relatively low body fat and top-heavy body composition means chimps can't really swim. So if you happen to be near a body of water, diving into the deep end where a chimp can't follow you might be the only thing that saves I don't you. Think that's now here's true. a video of a chimp doing exactly what I just said they couldn't. Right. So yeah. I guess the real advice here is be an organ donor. Because at least whatever they find left of you We're can done. go on to benefit someone else. Because it's not like you're going to need it. So here's my thing, right? Like, here's my thing. I smile when I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. it's, you better get that shit out it's, of you. It's, <laughs> it's my defense mechanism. Like those people that giggle when they're uncomfortable. Yes. And then online they're like, but the person was giggling. That means they were uncomfortable. Very. And the chimp would murder them. It's, so, you know. It was awesome. really helpful when I was working in customer service. Right. You know, because like people are being dicks to me and being like just yeah. mad obnoxious or just like being weird, right? Like the guy just comes up and stares at you. My first instinct is to smile, right? Mm -hmm. Like that works, right? But apparently here and also in my mother's house, it'll get me killed. You know, I think it really goes to show you that corporate slavery would never work for <laughs> in a chimp world. <laughs> You can go on to benefit someone else because it's not like you're gonna need it. Now let's talk about bears. Okay. You've probably heard the popular rhyme for bear safety and that's if it's black, fight back, if it's brown, get on the ground, and if it's white like a cloud, you're gonna die. But there are some <laughs> misconceptions with this and some of those misconceptions could get you put on a shirt. So we're gonna talk about it bear by bear. With black bears, you're gonna wanna fight back. But that doesn't mean just start throwing hands at the bear because a bear of any kind is folding any man like Sunday laundry. <laughs> But what right. you want to do is make yourself look like a threat. Stand up tall, talk loud and firmly, and if you have a bag or a jacket or something, raise it over your head to make yourself look bigger. Hey, Black bear. bears seem to constantly forget who they are and instead choose to identify as overweight raccoons, so they can be intimidating. <laughs> now with brown bears, you're going to want to get on the ground, but not for the reason some people might tell you. Some people say to play dead, since bears don't like to eat prey that's already past tense. Bad idea. Bears will eat literally anything, including <laughs> yes. other baby bears, so they're yeah. not about to miss out on free it's protein trash. just because the expiration date might be off. Right. But also, Bears aren't stupid. You see, playing possum works for possums because they're not playing. They actually pass out and go into a panic yeah. home where no yeah. amount of pushing or prodding wakes them up. Also, they'll drool and release a foul smell to really sell the bit. So unless oh, you plan useful. on committing to the role that hard, it's not gonna help you. <laughs> Why you actually get on- So if I shit myself, no? No, okay. He said they release a foul smelling odor. 
there are people that are going to see this. <laughs> yes. So you're telling me that you wouldn't be willing to shit yourself to not be to not get eaten by a bear? That's what you're telling me right now? I'm telling you that I wouldn't imagine myself shitting myself to get away from a bear. He's That's what I'm saying. He's the one who talked about releasing a foul-smelling odor. After the self-induced panic coma where nothing will wake you up from. That's the most important part. Okay, but I can't do that part, but I can do the foul-smelling odor part. The problem is bear noses are soft. You are ticklish. <laughs> you would have shit yourself. For no reason. <laughs> the second it gives you a little nudge, you're giggling, and he's going to fucking eat you. <laughs> what if my feet are bare and he touches my feet? It's, it's, over. it's over. It's over It's over. You. Although, I might, like, kick him in the face, and then he'll be so startled he leaves. We can all dream. <laughs> we can all dream. Committing to the role that hard, it's not going to help you. Why you actually get on the ground is to look as unintimidating and non-threatening as possible. Okay. So basically, none of the things you do with a black bear. You're going to want to lay down, clasp your hands around your neck, and then spread your legs to make it harder to flip you over. But the most important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, do not run. A bear can keep pace with a horse Look over a that. short distance, so all running is does wild. is guarantee you get made into a memory sooner. Jesus. Especially since bears are the largest terrestrial predators on the planet while also having the endurance of a CrossFit junkie. And sometimes ha. the bear will test their instincts by charging. Most mm -hmm. charges, however, are bluffs, and the worst thing you can do for your health is due to a race with a homicide case with paws. Also, whoever said bears can't run downhill was actively trying to sell the human race. Yes, they can, and thinking they can't will be your downfall. <laughs> But the best way to survive yeah, a bear attack is to avoid one in the first place. Right. So if you're ever hiking in bear country, you're actually going to want to make noise. Which sounds counterintuitive, but making a lot of noise actually tells the bear where you are and allows it to avoid conflict in the first place. Also, since bears have a hypersensitive nose and sense of smell, carrying bear spray can be the difference between going home in peace and resting there in pieces. Bear spray is said to save people from serious it's, injury yeah. and bear encounters 98% of the time. It's God bless good. you if you're in that 2%. There is a catch, though. Everything I just said applies to territorial encounters with bears. If a bear comes at you on predatory timing, then my only advice is to make peace with the higher being of your choosing. Damn. Predatory bear attacks on humans are rare, but when they do happen, someone gets put on the news. And that's why if the bear in your presence is a polar bear, then it's up. And by it, I mean your related. time on Earth. Polar bears are hyper carnivores, so while other bears are omnivorous, polar bears are all meat all the time. And since polar bears can smell their next meal from an area code away, by the time you see him, just know he's been plotting on you. There Got is it. one tip that says polar bears have ADHD, and undressing and tossing articles of clothing will distract it long enough for you to escape. But unless you have like an unlocked car or a bear proof- This is the one I was going to tell you about, where the guy ran around the car to save his life from the bear. Okay. It's extremely comical, but very stressful at the same time. Okay. Faust, all you've done is guarantee that you now die naked and cold. And if the bear somehow doesn't get you, whoever finds your body gets to see exactly how your life ended. Uh -huh. Now, half the reason I work out is so that if I ever suffer an untimely death, then I can leave behind a respectable corpse. Huh. But considering this is probably hmm. happening in the ice-chilled Arctic, they probably just assume I was compensating for something. Okay. If you know, you know. The guys sure do. But yeah, if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, you better hug the ground. And if it's white like nose powder, then it finna be your final hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then he moves into hippos, which is going to be terrifying. So we're going to visit the hippos in the next video. Darn right. <laughs> on Chavez's channel. So head over there. Man, and the <laughs> stories I have for you. Oh my God. I got God. two good ones to wrap this <laughs> oh video up God. too. Um, that was very informative. Okay. It was very informative. It's a top 10 list of death. What do you mean informative? But also, I just really hope in the next one he talks about how to survive a whale attack, okay? Because that oh, is what I... You already know that is what, what they're going to write, baby. I am concerned about, okay? Actually, skitting the, the stomach contents and the throat size is not enough to compensate for a human That's corpse. That's cool, but if I get stuck in its mouth on accident, how do I get the fuck out? Actually skidding when it sucks it. Oh Wait a minute, that's actually probably a good point. I understand, look. Everyone, Try shitting yourself, I, maybe it'll throw you up. You're never gonna let me live it down, are you? <laughs> Your mom sure wouldn't. So oh would my die. God. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere. My, my hair just like sabotaged me so bad. Um, I'm going somewhere where the disrespect is not as potent as when I shit myself. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to check out part two on Chavez's channel. Peace out, hope biscuits. It's skit lit. <laughs>